that we that we ride in a big GMC Yukon. Uh, the the roof is smashed in, the front is smashed in, the front wheels are hanging off of it. I you know, Chris, you know, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I mean, that was the scariest moment of my life. I've never been through anything like it before. My life flashed before my eyes. I mean, it was like we were just floating, and then we were tumbling. I mean, we tumbled I don't know how many times. Yeah, I would oh, count man. at least six, eight times we tumbled, and then we were airborne at one point. We were just floating, and we weren't tumbling anymore, and then we came down hard. It was um, – I'm just happy everyone's okay. We've got a few scratches on us. We're going to try to get to probably uh, – an emergency room and get these guys taken care of and get some stitches and stuff but otherwise just shake it up and okay all right mike we are certainly so thankful that you guys were okay and do what you can to, to still stay safe right now and, and get you guys uh, the help that you guys need and dr forbes how are they doing right now what, what are you seeing with that storm where they are uh they are located uh, right uh at this uh, symbol here and uh, i believe a new scan has come in i'll take a look at the velocities uh, there still is some pretty strong rotation just to the west of them, two or three miles to the west of them. It is probably not necessary. The brand new scan so, has come in. So you're still saying they need to go north? Uh, yeah, they are going north, right. and that's certainly the place to go. The, the, intent, the rotation is intensified. It is now a tornado vortex signature. Uh, that location uh, is uh, just about uh, three miles to their west-southwest. So if they go north, the uh, projected path of this tornado is just slightly to the south of east. Uh, it should go south of them. But uh, the, the instructions that their suggestion I gave to Mike was something that we don't normally tell people to do. Uh, go into the core. They're going to have to core punch to go to El Reno. But uh, that's certainly better than directing a uh, limping vehicle right. down into the path of the tornado. They did not want to go south. Right. Uh, we do have uh, that new hook that is formed, the and, new tornado emergency. And, and we're see if that's what this is. We're uh, joining a K4 in progress right now, our affiliate out of Oklahoma City. If this drops any moment, and it already dropped a weak tornado, so this is tornadic. We've been watching it get lower and lower to the ground. And uh, yeah, it, it's very concerning, Mike. I yep. think we're about uh, to have a Okay, Emily, appreciate that. Tornado emergency, South Oklahoma City. It is now on the ground. Reed Timmer, do you have it? I've got the tornado <laughs> vortex now at Southwest 8th or Southwest 10th between County Line and Council. It is a parking lot of cars at the state fairgrounds. And I'm just relaying reports that I'm getting from here. Kevin, Meg, everybody, it is a parking lot of cars at the state fairgrounds right now. And it's heading right down I-40. Reed Timmer, tornado emergency now for I-40 and all of South Oklahoma City. What do you see? Uh, I can still see them there. So well called out to our northeast. It's south. We're blocked by debris. But now we're on 152 heading back east. And uh, we will head uh, back. Is it moving southeast? It is moving due eastward right now Please. on Got the it. south side of Interstate 40. It is yeah, at County exactly Line and Rockwell right now between Reno and 15th Street is where it is right now. This is a tornado emergency for Whitewater Bay State Fair Park, uh, South 15th, South 29th, South 44th, all the way down to South 59th. Council, Rockwell, MacArthur, Meridian, Portland, May, Pennsylvania, Western and Santa Fe Avenues, all the way over to downtown Oklahoma City. Tornado emergency. It is spinning up very fast. Reed, do you have a visual on that? We have one confirmed report of, uh, of, of what we think is a tornado touchdown uh, in that immediate area. Yes, uh, we got this. Uh, there's a walk start off to the northeast that looks like it's just northwest of the Mustang area. That's probably the old walk cloud. And then there's a new wall cloud that's straight up ahead that we're trying to gain visual off that's very low to the ground. Right straight ahead on, uh, I'm on 52, look here, uh, about uh, 152 would be two east for that circulation. And uh, the hook is wrapping around, but I'll let you know as soon as I can verify ground circulation. All right, it, it's making an effort to, uh, it's making an effort to try to turn a little further south, yep. although that may be, a, it's just a wobble. It, it's trying to wobble down toward Will Rogers uh, Lillard Park and uh, U.S. Grant, uh, the whole U.S. Grant area. It's trying to wobble uh, down, definitely turning to the right. Yeah, we're six miles uh, west. Folks, uh, we, the, 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 the most important thing we can pass along to you right now is if you live in South Oklahoma City, uh, please go below ground. 
or drive out of the way and do it do it right now do it right now uh, this is a major hook turning to the right or south there's southwest integris right there lillard park there's the faa there's o triple c there's downtown oklahoma city the hook is completely wrapping up it may be a developing large violent tornado so if you can leave South Oklahoma City and go south, you do it right now. It's still west of I-44, but not by very much. Everybody down here, if you can't, we would really encourage you to go below ground, storm cellar, safe room, or basement. If you know anybody on your block that has one of those places, go over there, knock on their door, and they'll invite you in. But do it now. Don't wait. If you wait, it may be too late. The door may be closed. That's our affiliate K4. We're keeping an eye on them on their coverage right here. And we have a dangerous situation right now for Oklahoma City under a tornado warning and a tornado emergency right now. Indeed, we do. We have uh, at least two circulations there. Uh, one uh, very close to Oklahoma City with the uh, rotation that we're seeing right here. Tornado emergency for Oklahoma, Northwest Central Oklahoma County, Northwest Cleveland County, Eastern Canadian County, including the Will Rogers World Airport, Bethany, downtown Oklahoma City, North Moore. Immediate precautions are needed in this location. Uh, there's a strong indication of a tornado there. Also, back to the area around Union City, there is a, a tornado warning there uh, as well. And uh, that one may also have a tornado emergency on that. It does not. Eastern Storm Eastern has the tornado emergency on that. Uh, we'll take a look here uh, at the, uh, there in the high definition radar. The storm has really begun to hook around again. This is the lead storm. Uh, we're talking in areas uh, off to the north and east of Mustang, south and east of Yukon, taking a look at the newest Doppler scan that has come in. Uh, very strong rotation. Not as strong as the one that we had seen before, but still pretty strong rotation coming in there, heading toward the areas, especially, it looks like it's going a little bit south of east, so that will take it down into the southwest suburbs of Oklahoma City. Want to slide along then to the west, Take a look at the progress and, and position of Mike Bettis and the tornado hunt team trying to escape from the next tornado circulation coming in. The Doppler velocities on this one, uh, not extremely strong, not certainly as strong as the tornado that hit Mike uh, previously, but uh, it is going to pass uh, to their south. So uh, we're talking about areas south of El Reno uh, and north and west of Union City with another uh, tornado uh, in this hook echo that is wrapping around. Uh, so a pair of storms heading just slightly to the south and, and east overall toward Oklahoma City. And if, you, if you've been watching the news for the past couple of weeks, you know that south of Oklahoma City is more Oklahoma. And Dr. Forbes, can we speak to more Oklahoma right now and, and kind of give us an idea what you think is going on for them? Well, certainly uh, it's going to come very close to them. These storms uh, have been moving ever so slightly to the south of east. Uh, if this particular storm that is in the southwest or heading toward the southwest suburbs of Oklahoma City, if it intensifies, it could certainly be coming right into somewhere pretty close to Moore uh, at this and point. In fact, if we take a look at our uh, breaking uh, weather alert system here at the Weather Channel, it's, a, it's an internal system that we have that keeps us up to date throughout the building here. And right off the top there, we're getting reports that Moore, Oklahoma Emergency Management Department now sounding the tornado siren. So, Dr. Forbes, this has got to be, you know, absolutely heart-wrenching for the people there in Moore. I mean, everybody in Oklahoma, at least Oklahoma City, most people extremely storm savvy. But when your town takes a, a hit, like they did with the tornado that, that went through there, that F5, hearing those sirens again, again, have got to be absolutely agonizing for these people. Yeah, it certainly is. Now, uh, that said, here is the picture at the current time. I've circled more. It's down in the lower right corner there. And so here is this tornado circulation with a hook echo. So at the moment, uh, it would uh, not be the heart of downtown Moore. It would be an area on the north side of Moore. Uh, but that's not very far. The, the tornado hit the a little bit of Oklahoma County as well as a part of the Moore area. So this is headed into an area not very far away from where the uh, previous tornado hit. And we can't predict exactly the path. And, and, and that's that why said, it's there's still another hook on the uh, on the way that may travel a little bit farther to the south okay. of the first one. So danger certainly is still ahead for Moore and uh, south and uh, southwest parts of Oklahoma City. Yeah, so they are under tornado warning right yep. now. So if you live in Oklahoma City, more Oklahoma, you do need to be taking cover right now. Tornado emergency statement included North Moore. All right, and so Dr. Forbes, so we're looking at these two storms. We also have several other storms going on right now, but these ones are the ones that we're looking at because we know uh, we, based on our crews in the field, they did take a direct hit. 
Meteorologist Mike Bettis, uh, their car tossed about 200 yards. They're okay. Uh, like he said, thankful to be alive. They are banged up and they are trying to get to the hospital, but at the same time, they're trying to get away from the back end of that storm. Indeed, and some of those other storms uh, off here along the Kansas Oklahoma border. Uh, south of Coffeyville, Kansas, north of Lenape, Oklahoma. Very well defined spiraling storm there uh, heading uh, eastbound with the tornado warning uh, on that for uh, that includes Washington and Nevada counties in Oklahoma. That would be the main threat, but it might sneak over uh, into Montgomery County in Kansas. Then we have another storm that is farther to the west with the tornado warning in it. That would be very close to Pawhuska, Oklahoma. All right, and uh, so again, we're looking at this threat. It extends uh, throughout a huge portion of Oklahoma right now, and that does include Oklahoma City. Uh, do we have anything that shows like of a wide view, a wider view here on Max 5, perhaps? And Max 2, Max 2. Max 2. Video source Max 2 to give us an idea. Max 2, oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. okay, so now we're looking at this line. It's going all the way up. It's not that we're trying to ignore you, you know, all the way up from Springfield to St. Louis, but we just have an imminent, very serious situation going on right now in Oklahoma City. And severe thunderstorms with a severe thunderstorm warning getting very close to St. Louis, very close to the St. Louis airport at this time. Uh, and the tornado warnings uh, farther down the pass. So Franklin, Gasconade, Warren counties under severe thunderstorm warning getting very close to the uh, airport. Uh, that probably will be uh, the, the boundary of these two storms. Uh, Let's slide down the line, guys, and, uh, and see some of these other warnings along the line. Flash flood warnings all through the area. Another tornado warning for Cedar County in Missouri, Jericho Springs, Stockton, uh, the Umberview Heights area. Uh, that is the south uh, and a well-defined hook echo on this one. So another dangerous uh, situation there uh, for uh, southwest parts of Missouri with a uh, well-defined hook echo. Earlier we saw in some of the Oklahoma storms these multiple bird wings coming in. Uh, this storm has that as well. And of course, uh, Missouri, southern Missouri, that's an area that I'd given a Torcon of six. It's in a, a tornado warning. Uh, there are the other two storms that I, I showed you moment, moments ago. Osage County, uh, south and uh, west of Bartlesville there uh, with the uh, Barnesdale, Pahuska area, Winona area under a tornado threat. And uh, the next storm to the north that I also pointed out uh, with tornado warning. So uh, right. the biggest, uh, uh, danger, uh, certainly the most people in danger are the Oklahoma City metro area. And with that, let's listen in to K4 TV right now. South at Meridian right now. Mark? Uh, it's on the ground. Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, I'm on 66 trying to get out ahead of it again. I'm coming up to uh, MacArthur. I'm, co I'm coming through Bethany right now. I'm in the mountain lane on this wrap around trying to get that it's uh, driving down toward the circulation area. Uh, uh, folks, basically south of I-40 and uh, over toward I-44, you got to get down now. You got to get out of this way or down. This is the bottom line on this deal. It's a bad situation. I've had a lot of damage out on uh, Yukon and El Reno, especially. But Mike, uh, I'm trying to get out ahead of it again. I'm in the wraparound, just on the north side of it. All right, I still see it on the ground. Uh, it's, it's at Meridian right now. Uh, Meridian Avenue on the south side of I-44. Go read Timmer. Are you there? Yes, uh, Mike. Are you, uh, right now we are on Morgan Road in between uh, Morgan and Council, uh, headed east, northeast, and the power is out here. Everything is black. Uh, can't see any cars everywhere. It's mass chaos. And I think I can see what looks to be a dark area. That tornado uh, looks very large, wrapped in rain. And uh, we are going to be heading east towards east to try to get in front of it, get a knot so we can see it. But the power is out here. Uh, west, west of the power is out. All right, Reed, appreciate that. Problems, big problems. If you're in Oklahoma City, you've got to be underground or drop south. It, it, it might be too late. Just find a tornado shelter. It's a bad situation. Reed, appreciate that very much. Uh, it is heading for Dell City. It is heading for Tinker. It is heading for Midwest City. It's crossing I-44 right now. Uh, I would say that it is uh, at I-40 and I-44 right now on the southwest edge of State Fair Park. Uh, I would say that it's uh, right to the south of Mathis Brothers is where it is right now. Uh, and it's, it's right in that immediate Mathis Brothers area. I think the, the vortex might be over I-40 on the south side of I-40, uh, essentially at uh, at Mathis Brothers, uh, it just to the south of Whitewater Bay, uh, over Mathis Brothers right now.
That's our affiliate K4 uh, back here at the Weather Channel getting new word, uh, getting uh, understanding there's a debris signature near the fairgrounds. Dr. Forbes also uh, right now it's about heading over the uh, Oklahoma City Airport, Will Rogers World Airport, uh, where we did learn earlier that about a thousand people were brought down into the tunnels underground. So hopefully everybody is safe and out of the way there. What are you seeing right now, Dr. Uh, Forbes? Definitely an increase in intensity of the tornado here. Pretty un unambiguous now that there's a tornado located here uh, just